everything is laid out and we are guilty before God. But God finds us not excused. <clears throat> innocent. innocent. Woo! That's the word. Yeah, that's the word. Done. How in the world? How in the world can he find me innocent after I have done so much evil? Nashali! Come on, Nashali! Oh, damn, I forget. Come on! You know what? It's, I know you got it. Yeah, um, hold on, hold on, everybody, quiet. Nashali. He has forgiveness. Okay, give me more, give me more. Um, How can he forgive my sins? By, by you asking them for forgiveness. <laughs> but but he's a he's a righteous judge. He has to pour out his punishment. To, you know, can I just go to a judge and say, Judge, I know I killed my friend, but can you forgive me? <laughs> no, he won't do that. Right? Why? How can God forgive me and make me innocent? Daddy, go for it. All right, listen. Listen. Because Jesus died for me. Huh? Because Jesus died for me. What does that mean? He, he, why, why is it my grandfather's <laughs> death counted for me? He saved us on the cross for a week. How did he save us? By dying? Giving his life. He gave, we all know this, right? He Jesus died saved. for us. That's the answer. But how come Jesus' death is counted for me and not my grandfather's death? Or not my great grandmother's death? Why is Jesus' death is so important? Because he gave his son. To die for us, for Alright, you're almost there. Alright, but what does his son do? He was innocent. He was innocent, yes. He was innocent on his own merit, right? He never did evil. He's the only one that can actually go to God and says, You know what? I ain't guilty of all this stuff. Everyone else is, but I'm not. I have been perfect. And he's right. But he died. Because he's perfect. Not because he's perfect. He is perfect, but that's not the reason of his death. Because he was faithful to God. You're there. That's true. Because he's holy. Help me out, man. Okay, what's your question? My question was, how can we be found innocent if we have done all this? Because God's awesome. God is awesome. But, <laughs> but you got to give me more. Sorry? Nashali. God has mercy. God has definite mercy. But you got to give me more. Ay, Dios mío. Jesus is... Because Jesus' account is clean. His God account, is perfect. His account gets credited to us in imputations. I just don't want to get into that. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, Alright, so here's the deal. Okay, listen up, guys. This is important. Here is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Right? And we're actually we're gonna get into the class today where it has a verse that clearly defines it. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer, don't worry, I got it. I know. Alright, listen up guys. He's three three minutes long. Oh there you go, that's the best answer. So here's the thing. Listen up. So in essence, right, we deserve God's wrath and punishment. But God has poured that punishment and wrath upon his son. Are you hearing me, Jesse? You didn't hear me. Give me the What else? He's uh forget it. God poured out my, his punishment and wrath that I deserve, and he poured it on Jesus. Are you hearing me? Yep. Does that make sense? Yep. Josh, I'm losing you, ain't I? I am losing you? That's okay. Be honest with me, okay? Be honest. I want everybody to know this. I, listen up.